YouTube, how's everyone doing? One Shot bringing you guys another video and welcome back to another episode of Vanguard Guns in 5 Minutes, a series here on the channel where we take a look at all of the guns within Call of Duty Vanguard, break down some basic stats, take a look at some suggested class setups, and enjoy some gameplay in the background. So the gun we're going to be taking a look at today is the Volk Storm Gavar, and for the sake of everybody's brain cells and for my sanity, I'm going to call that the Volk from here on out. That's just too long of a word for me to try and pronunciate every single time. But I will say the Volk was a lot of fun to use. I really had a great time using this gun it was probably the gun i got to max level the fastest it just seemed that i could go on those longer kill streaks and i was stringing a lot of kills together when i was using the volk especially when i got some of the attachments that are super necessary for this gun which we will talk about here in a little bit but let's go ahead and jump into the volk and take a look at some of the basic stats so starting it off here on the stats the volk is going to have a fire rate of 750 rounds per minute which is pretty fast it's actually the second fastest firing assault rifle in the game second to only the as4 it's going to have a base damage profile of 28 with a vital damage profile or headshot damage of 42, meaning that it will be a three to four shot kill. Now, since this gun does have a pretty fast fire rate, it also does have a pretty good damage profile, pretty comparable to the STG 44. So you will definitely notice that you'll kill pretty fast with this gun, especially when you can get some attachments that'll increase your accuracy and recoil control to really help you keep those shots on point. Now, I will say I haven't heard much talk in the community about the Volk and I'm not sure if it's because maybe not everyone is at level 55 so they haven't unlocked the Volk yet or if it's because there's been too many other meta guns that are kind of dominating the game right now and some people just haven't gotten a chance to try out the Volk yet. So I was a little skeptical when I got to level 55 just to see if the Volk was going to be a powerful gun or not because when you think of Call of Duties and the max level gun you think of some of the best guns of all time. I think of guns like the AK-47 and the ACR which are guns that people look forward to unlocking and typically they live up to the hype. But after playing around with the Volk and grinding this thing out to the max level, I can say that this gun is absolutely worth the level 55 grind. It absolutely shreds a high fire rate with a pretty low recoil that you can kit with some attachments. This thing is an absolute monster. So as I like to do with all of the Vanguard guns in five minutes episodes, I like to show you guys my recommended class setup for the gun that we're talking about. So if we take a look at the class here, this is what I like to run on the Volk. It's kind of a hybrid mix between speed and accuracy. So starting off with with the muzzle here I like to run the F8 stabilizer barrel it's going to give me plus two accuracy and plus one damage range while taking away one to my sprint to fire speed and one to my hip fire accuracy jumping over to the barrel here I like to run the cross nick 428 millimeter 05v barrel it doesn't give me any actual numbers stats but the pros are highly accurate and controllable reduced scope sway and gun bob and damage range while the cons are sprint to fire speed and hip accuracy so as I mentioned earlier this is a hybrid class so you saw the first first two attachments here gave me some additional accuracy while taking away some speed. We're going to try and get that speed back later on with some other attachments. Jumping over to the optic here, like I do with all my assault rifles, I like to run the slate reflector. I think it's the best sight for the assault rifles. It's clean, it's open, it gives you a little bit of magnification and just lets you lock onto your target a little bit easier. For the stock, this is where I'm going to get some of my speed back. I'm running the S8 converted stock. It's going to give me plus two sprint to fire speed as well as plus one movement speed while only taking away one to my initial accuracy and recoil. For the under barrel or front grip, I'm running the M1930 strife angled barrel. I think this is the most important attachment on this gun. It's going to give you plus two accuracy, plus one aiming stability, and plus one aim walking steadiness while only taking away one to your sprint to fire speed. So if you remember, we did get plus one to our sprint to fire speed back with the other attachments. So to only have minus one sprint to fire speed with all the additional accuracy increases is something that I think you should absolutely take advantage of. I don't like to run any magazine. I think the speed decreases and the penalties are just too high. Um, and 30 bullets is plenty enough for the Volk. You can just reload if you find yourself running out of bullets. For the ammo type, I like to run the lengthened ammo type. It's going to give me plus three bullet velocity without any negatives. So that's a no brainer there. And then for the rear grip, I'm running the stippled grip. It's going to give me plus two recoil recovery and plus one initial accuracy and recoil again with no downsides. So here is a, just another perfect example of me getting accuracy without taking away any speed. And then for the proficiency, I like to run the perfectionist. It's going to give me plus two recoil control, but it's going to take away two to my flinch resistance. So if you're someone who doesn't really hit your first couple of shots and you find yourself getting hit first, I wouldn't necessarily recommend perfectionist. I'd maybe go to something like sleight of hand where you can reload quicker because the minus two flinch resistance is definitely something that's noticeable. But I feel that if I can get my shots off first, the plus two recoil control is something that I'll take. And then the weapon kit is completely up to you. If you want to run surplus to get more kills or full 
fully loaded to get more ammo. I think this is a personal preference, so run whatever you'd like here. But that does it for the Volt class setup. Again, like I said, this thing was an absolute monster. I had a great time using this gun. If you guys haven't used the gun or if you haven't got to level 55 yet, I definitely recommend grinding the game out so you can unlock the Volk and use this thing because the high fire rate with the low recoil and some of the attachments you can get on here makes this thing so much fun to use. But that's going to do it for another episode of Vanguard Guns in 5 Minutes. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. Remember, if you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future Call of Duty Vanguard content. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone in the next video.